Hello everyone, welcome back to another Trinity Stamps video. This is Cassie. Today we're going to be making a holiday card that is embossed and foiled. So let's talk about what we're using. I have the winter tree cut and foil. I'm going to go ahead and pull out the foil piece and put that onto my glimmer plate so that it can start warming up already. We also have our Simply Sentimental Holidays stamp set. You know I love the Simply Sentimental line. It is just amazing. Um, and the holiday one is no exception. We're also going to be using the slimline leafy background. This one's a little bit older, but it is still a gem and I love it. So we're going to use it. And then I'm going to pull in some other things as we get going. Now, while my plate is heating up, you'll see that red light is on. I'm going to go ahead and pull out my quick trimmer that goes along with the glimmer system. This is just an easier way to cut your foil. And I have some opaque white uh, glimmer foil. And I'm going to go ahead and just put that onto my cutting mat and then I'll trim down the amount that I need of this white. Now there's a shinier side to this opaque white and a little bit more dull side. I want to make sure that I put the shiny side down on top of my foil plate um, so that it's tree, shiny side, and then I'm just going to just leave that there. It's not going to do anything to it. It'll be fine. And then I'm going to wait for that green light to turn on. You'll see that green light has turned on to let me know that the plate is warm enough. So I'll hit the timer button and it's going to keep blinking. And then when it stops blinking, I'm ready to actually do my foiling. So I like to pull out my glimmer system out from the mechanism, then put my paper down and then put my two plates. Then I'll pull in my platinum six and I will run this through nice and slowly. Now, I'm going to tell you, I didn't get a full impression, and that was my own fault. I didn't go all the way through. I thought I had, but I didn't. And so you'll see the bottom of the tree didn't get fully foiled, and that was my own fault. But instead of throwing that out, we're going to work with it. I had kind of an idea in my head, and I just wanted to see if it would work out. Um, but yeah, so I'm not going to throw this out. We're going to work with it. And I'm going to bring in the cut you know, the die that goes along with this, and we'll tack that down with a little bit of mint tape, making sure not to go over anywhere that I foiled, because that mint tape might pull some of that foil away from the paper. So we'll run that through our die cutting machine, and then I'm going to start working on our background. So I've just got a piece of black cardstock. This measures five and a half inches by eight and a half inches, and I'm bringing in that leafy background. You'll see that I have a different foiled tree sitting off to the side. It was just one I had been playing around with. I'm not going to use it for this card. Um, but I had been playing around with that color just to see what it would look like on the black, and I do like it. I'll probably use it for a different card, but definitely not this one. I'm going to bring in an anti-static powder tool all over that black, and then just be real generous with it and then sweep away any of the excess. I just want to make sure that I don't have any oil from my fingers on there or potentially from our stamp. And then I'm going to ink this up with my Juicy Embossing Ink by Ink on 3. I didn't do the best job of inking it completely up. Um, but I do well enough and I'm happy enough with it. So we're just going to make sure that I have that pressed down nice and good so that I have the best impression possible. And then when I pull that away, we're going to need to pull in our embossing powder. So the embossing powder that I've chosen to use is some Wow Vintage Peacock. It's a really pretty embossing powder. It has glitter in it. So if you are, if you don't like glitter, stay away from this one. Um, but it's got glitter. It's got bits of turquoise. It's got bits of black and white. It's just really, really pretty. All right, and then I'm going to start heating from behind. You can't really see that, but because there's glitter on it, I'm going to start heating from behind, and then once it starts to melt, I can pull my uh, heating tool to the front. That's just going to keep the glitter from flying everywhere. If you start on the back while your heating tool is getting heated up, you can avoid spraying glitter all over everything, because once it gets started uh, melting, it, it's just a really quick process from there, and you can see it happening as we go. It's so pretty, especially on that black. I just love this. Super, super pretty. Okay, so here I decide I bring in my trusty A7 Modern Emboss Layers die. I've pulled out the biggest one. I'm going to change my mind later, but I pull out the biggest one. I'm going to tack that down and run that through my die cutting machine. I thought I wanted this to be the full front of that 5x7 card, but like I said, I will change my mind later. There it is. Really pretty, and I love the embossed edge that it gives. I say that every time. It's just super classy. And so here's where I'm looking at that. I decide to unplug my glimmer plate. We're going to move everything out of the way. And I did bring in another light blue color. So here's where I bring in the Modern Emboss Layers die again. I'm going to use the biggest one on our blue, and then I'll use the third biggest one on uh, the piece that I had just die cut. And I am going to save 
one of the strips that's going to end up going on the inside of the card. I don't show you that until the very end, but yes, that will go on the inside of the card. So we can tie the outside to the inside. So now we've got our pieces all die cut. They layer up beautifully. And I am going to bring in the smallest of that embossed layer die. And we're going to cut a piece for our sentiment out of that same blue cardstock that I had used for our background. So I've got that piece all cut. I've brought in several of the sentiments. We're going to say happy holidays and a happy new year. And we're just going to piece all those together. That's another reason why I love these simply sentimental lines because they just, they go together so beautifully. You can build up these really pretty sentiments um, and make them your own, which is great. So I'm going to ink that up with some, um, First Fine Claire Nocturne ink, stamp that down. It's not completely straight, but it works for me. I'm happy with it. And then we can start adhering our layers together. I'm just gonna adhere the black piece down to our blue piece using our Crafty Glue Friend. And that'll leave a nice blue border along with the embossing edge. Again, just love that. Then Miles has to come in and make sure everything is good to go. I have a white card base that is a 5x7 card base, so that was a 10 inch by 7 inch piece that I um, scored at 5 inches. And then I'm going to bring in our Simply Sentimental Holidays again to stamp on the inside. Just to reiterate our sentiment. And I love those big holiday words, they're so pretty. So again, we're building up our sentiment. May your holidays be filled with sparkle and joy which I thought was fitting or peace and joy <laughs> I thought was fitting because I think the outside is very peaceful so we're going to ink that up with our same color that VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink stamp that down and then we can attach our panel to our base using our same crafty glue friend but again I am going to bring in that one strip that I had left over I'll show you at the very end in the still pictures you'll be able to see it but uh, yeah, it ends up being, I'm, I'm actually really happy with it. So we'll glue that down. And then I decide to bring in some foam squares for our tree and our sentiment. And these foam squares can be a little bit of a pain. <laughs> Sometimes we get those, but we're definitely not wanting to throw them out. We want to use what we have, right? So I highly, highly, highly recommend if you do not have a pickup stick, treat yourself get you a pickup stick because this thing I use it all the time it sits on my desk I don't even put it away because I use it for pretty much every card I make whether it is the wax tip to put embellishments down or it is this poke stick and that helps me to get you know the backings off of foam squares or whatnot but I use it all the time so again it never gets put away and then we're just going to layer our sentiment over the part that I didn't foil very well and then I decide to bring in these beautiful baubles. These are the um, something new baubles. These were from last year, I think, around the holidays. They're so perfect and beautiful, and they just go so well. And so I'm going to use my pickup stick along with that crafty glue friend to attach down all of those beautiful baubles. I love them so much. And then once that is done, that's going to finish off our card. This was actually a fairly quick card, and it used both embossing and glimmer foil, which is a beautiful touch. So if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. Definitely consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. And definitely be sure to check out all that Trinity Stamps has going on over on their blog, Facebook page, and Instagram for more crafty inspiration. Thanks for stopping by, and I hope you have a great day.